A blue streak by any other name brings us to a very unlikely candidate for today's review. Silver Streak. This is the buzzworthy Bumblebee Silver Streak, and I say unlikely because we don't have Target in my country anymore. So, being a Target exclusive, I wasn't sure if I was going to really be able to get it, to be honest with you. Um, maybe, maybe not, but either way, he's here now. I didn't really need a diaclone colored version of this, and oddly, it's not even the Blue Streak mold that's been reused here. It's the smokescreen mold, which might have been a wise choice. Anyway, we cut it. We're going to dive into everything to do with this guy in the latest Got By True review. Hey one, hey all, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your most humble of hosts, Dennis Moulton, aka Gotbot. As always, man, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe. And while you're at it, light up my baby and hit that notification bell, please. It helps me out a ton. It lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, the Everything Factor, all the groups that I'm either a mod or an admin for, as well as all of my social media links, all in the description down below. Also in the description down below, and if you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link, you can check us out at Patreon, you can uh, see what we have to offer to you through Spring, or of course you can hit the, hit the join button right here on YouTube and become a channel member. And this is, indeed, Silver Streak, and I'm kind of okay having this as a completely different character. Sure, we've always known that Silver Streak and Blue Streak are the same guy. Why not split them up? Why not have the Diaclone coloration actually be a different version? A lot of people have always called it Blue Blue Streak. Why not call Blue Streak, uh, Blue Streak, and Silver Streak, Silver Streak, even though some might say we should actually reverse the names. Anyway, you cut it, I'm okay with it. Now, this guy did have a paint blemish that I fixed up and doctored up, all right. I don't expect to be surprised by this mold. Either you like it or you don't, but you never know. I'm not gonna be showing the transformation. We've seen it before. I will show him in comparison to other versions of this mold and kind of compare how successful I think this iteration is. Without any further ado, enough of me babbling on. Let's head over to the table and take a closer look at this guy. I'm not even gonna pretend that I understand what Buzzworthy Bumblebee is anymore because there are things in this subline, I get it, it's a Target exclusive subline, but like we've had things in here from the movies because there was a shatter and there was a dropkick that came out. We've had things in here that was studio series uh, from the 86 film, like the uh, cup, for example, that was redone. Then we had stuff from uh, Earthrise with Cliff Jumper, and now we have this guy, you know. And that's not to mention the the things from like Cyberverse and whatnot. This is a weird line. I'm not going to pretend it's not because it totally is. And now we have this guy, Autobot Silver Streak. And yes, ha ha ha. The big joke is that Blue Streak is silver and Silver Streak is blue. Truth be told. Uh, the name Silver Streak has often been used when I guess they couldn't secure the rights to the name Blue Streak for whatever weird reason. Uh, they're essentially one and the same, like the character is one and the same, but I am going to pretend that they are two different characters. I'm going to give a big shout out to our buddy Ultra Megatron as he hooked me up with this because we don't have Target here anymore. This may in Canada come to Toys R Us. I got a scary feeling if it does though, it's going to be more in the range of like, 42 or 44 dollars Canadian um, because yeah when the Target stuff has been coming to our Toys R Us as of late it's been a jacked up price and don't get me wrong I like this mold when it came out in Earthrise but I don't like it enough to pay almost $50 plus tax for it let's get realistic here but before we look at this guy let's look at his packaging first it's Buzzworthy Bumblebee packaging. Nice artwork here in car mode. I actually really kind of dig that. Over here we have G1RC. I don't even know who this is. I think it's Mirage, but like I really don't know. And then we have Cyberverse Optimus Prime and uh, Cyberverse Bumblebee, I think, maybe. Like, it's the weirdest packaging. Over here we have nice image of... of Blue Streak, I was going to call him. Silver Streak. And then back here, of course, the product images. Um... There's nothing really new here, but ooh, we still get instructions. These are the instructions that we've seen for this mold several times over. And here we have our beauty boy now. There's a couple of things that I'm going to note here. One, he shares the exact same head sculpt as we got with um, Blue Streak. Right there. Same head sculpt, uh, except 
This one's painted blue and yellow, of course, right? Interestingly, Silver Streak and Blue Streak are not the exact same mold. It is not a reuse of this mold. You know by the front of the, I guess, the vehicle. The rest of it's the same, of course. In essence, what this guy is really a reuse of, while using the Blue Streak head, it's really a reuse of... Oh, uh, this guy! Of course, this is... Our buddy, um, Smokescreen, it's really, the body is really this version of the mold, which I thought worked a little bit better, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. They're all essentially the same mold, but there are two front vehicle pieces, if you will. Now, I don't need to do the transformation because we've seen it a bunch of times before. For example, Earthrise Blue Streak we looked at in episode 775. Good old smoke screen was $7.91. Barricade, we looked at as part of the two-pack. It was part of the Galactic Odyssey um, Encounter 4 Dominus Criminal Pursuit two-pack. We looked at that in episode 830. And Prowl was along with Earthrise Iron Eyed as a two-pack in episode 805. So we've seen the transformation back and forth. I specifically want to say that I want to say I showed the transformation from robot to vehicle with Prowl and vehicle to robot with Smokescreen, maybe? I didn't show it with Barricade because we'd already seen it by then. So I'm not going to show the transformation here. Either you like it or you don't. I will comment on how smooth I find it here. Of all four, well all five, can't talk to this guy yet, but of the other four molds, I think the smoothest one and the one that it works perfectly on the way it was intended to work is probably smokescreen followed closely by barricade i feel like honestly this version of the mold works a bit better than the prowl blue streak version of the mold if that makes any weird sense so what about the coloration well it's heavily diaclone inspired obviously and honestly like it's pretty darn accurate really i mean Starting at the bottom, we do have the uh, red tail lights and the blue feet. We have the blue around the windows coming up the leg. We have the white thighs. We have the black pelvis. We have the white abdomen. We have the um, blue on the bumper and whatnot. Though there arguably should be some headlights there. Maybe a little more black. Maybe. Uh, we have the white hands. They should be blue. We have the black forearms. That's correct. We have the white bicep we have the blue up here that's all paint i'm pretty sure by the way um we have the blue doors we have the silver on the hood and the even the autobot symbol is a nice touch yeah it's 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 pretty much what you would expect and want even when we get to the head we have the white face or it could have been silver face uh and the yellow crest so 9.75. I mean, if there's details missing, I'm, I, I'm not sure what they are. There could be some details missing. But other than the fists being white when they should be blue, 9.75, I think. I, I think I think I'm good with 9.75. Okay, what about the articulation for the guy? Well, we have the head that can go left, right. By the way, these are white. If I'd known that they were white, I would have automatically put these with my... Um, uh, smoke screen. My smoke screen's accessories were blue. You probably noticed they were white because I painted them because uh, they're supposed to be white. But like in all honesty, I would have used these. I'm just saying. Uh, so the head goes left and right. Again, these can come off and go on the sides of his blaster down here if you're so inclined. I'm not going through all that. The doors open and close as usual. The arms, they can go all the way around again, all the way out, down, over 90 degree at the elbow, bicep swivel, Wrist rotation, um, we have a waist, we have kick all the way forward, we have oops, kick back a little bit, not as far back as I thought, interesting. Uh, we have a knee to, for sure, now nah, deeper than 90 degrees because of transformation. Thigh swivel, all built inside the thigh, which I love. We have ankle tilt, which is really, really nice. So, yeah. Um, uh, and he stands like a champion. Honestly, I'm going to say... So... So look, we're saying a 9.75. I did have a paint blemish, by the way, that I had to touch up the silver right here. 
was a little paint blemish, but 9.75 for that, for the, for the articulation, it has everything I could want. I'm going to say a 10, honestly. I don't know what else I could want at the deluxe size, class, and price point. I would call that extremely good. Again, I'm not showing the transformation because we don't have to, but here he is going from looking like this in robot mode to looking like... Yeah, baby, looking like this. And, like, I love the silver on the hood. I love the look of the blue. It's too bad these are white accents here, but whatever. It's just hinges. Rolls like a champion. Very smooth, actually, to get here. Uh, again, knowing the barricade and the smokescreen version of this mold, as I do, like I said, I find them a little bit smoother. I can't tell you why. But I, yeah, it's compact. It's nice. It, I mean, there's the back. There it is from the front. If you didn't want all of these pieces on there, I mean, that's up to you. You know, there it is from the top there. Um, yeah, absolute success. I'm going to say that the transformation is a solid nine. You know, it, it's, it's a good transformation, I think. Solid nine. And uh, overall score, I'm going to say, is about a nine, nine and a half. I think it's a really solid entry. Again, I think it matches that this is an exclusive because not everyone's going to want the diaclone color. But I do like that they use Blue Streak as one character and technically this one could be interpreted as a completely different character. I dig that. I like that. I think this is an absolute win to add to any collection if you can get your hands on it. But if you don't, I wouldn't feel bad about it because as much of a win as it is, it's also not necessary. I think that this is a perfect example of something that absolutely fills the bill as an exclusive. And here we are once again, and here he is. I'm going to keep this short and simple. Tons of paint. Tons of paint. A lot went into the paint budget here, which is nice to see because if you didn't have to uh, kind of retool anything, if this was just a, like a straight-up reuse, which it is, then the least you can do to make sure that we get our value for money is add paint. And I feel like that's been done here. I don't know. I feel like there's more paint on here than some of the copies of the mold, and maybe that's wrong. Maybe I'm in, incorrect, but it, it's the way it feels and comes across to me. Um, in terms of the transformation, it's as good as any of the others of this mold or as bad as any of the others of this mold. Either you like it or you don't. Nothing here is going to change your mind. How does he look in hand? Honestly, I gotta say, he looks pretty great. That silver is pretty eye-popping and the blue is just plain beautiful. And shockingly, I would say the paint that's on here is a pretty great match for the um, plastic that was used here. He's not one that I think anybody really needs. He's definitely a niche character. He's definitely a perfect um, example of something that deserves to be an exclusive. Because he is appealing, but he won't appeal to everyone. Exactly what an exclusive should be. I think he's a success. I think he's a success as a Transformer. I think he's a success as a, a character named Silver Streak. And I think he's a, a success as being what an um, exclusive offering should actually be. Call me surprised, man. I'm, I'm kind of glad to have him, not gonna lie. Uh, big shout out to our buddy Ultra Megatronus for hooking me up with this guy. Anyway, let me know what you think about this guy. I appreciate you coming by, giving me some of your extremely valuable time. I do know how important it is to you. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. If you check us out on Patreon, you can see what we have to offer to you through spring, or of course you can hit the join button right here on YouTube and become a channel member. Don't forget to also hit the subscribe button, and especially don't forget that somehow, some way, you really do make a difference each and every day. And I look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either in the live streams on Thursday nights at the Stop Motion premieres or the old-fashioned way right here inside the videos.